Before we celebrate the new year, let's take a look at 10 exciting moments from the last decade of off-road racing in WA. At number 10, we have Magumba Madness. With the track regularly receiving healthy rains, it meant for one mad, tough, crazy race. This footage is from the final Magumba in 2015. The WA Junior Off-Road Development Program takes number 9 as Russ and his crew built some iconic vehicles to help get some juniors into the sport. The Kinger and Trophy Lancer have certainly earned their place in WA racing history. At number 8 we celebrate 10 years at Ben Cullen. 10 years ago the cars were very different but this event has grown to be a popular part of the WAORC. In 2018 at the Kalgoorlie Desert Race we were subjected to a Kiwi onslaught, with the trio of Crab, Horan and Morgan heading across the Tasman for a crack at Goldfield's glory. We have heard rumours that they will be back again soon. Number 6 goes to the Perendry 2016 race, where in rarity we went night racing. Whilst a very still and calm night and dry conditions meant dust was a problem, a pro buggy at full noise through the night is something to behold. In a similar vein, the Hyden Enduros have earned their place at number 5. The single section 6 hour Enduro format finishing under lights challenged a whole new skill set for the competitors.
At number four, we have the first ever Three Springs race back in 2013. Many were worried that it was going to be hard to find a new home when racing concluded at Hyden, but Three Springs has forged its own place into the hearts of many races. <laughs> Sliding in at number 3 is the inclusion of the Gascoigne Dash into the WIORC. This true desert race is now locked in for the Easter weekend and is one event which is on a lot of competitors' bucket lists. An exciting development in late 2019 was that the AORC is returning to WA in 2020. Kalgoorlie will be the place to be in October for the final round of the WAORC and the AORC. At number one, we have the greatest season-long battle of the decade. Brett Smith vs Brad Cooper in 2016 was something else. These two were nearly inseparable on the track, putting in some great racing action, and the title chase went down to the last lap of the last race, with Smith ultimately the victor. With 2020 just around the corner, it's nearly time to start making more memories. Are you ready? Yeah.